about hopping onto one of China's most popular forms of transport to explore Beijing, an electric bike or e-bike. This washroom is really big. I would use this to shower. Guiba, a Chinese animated film released this summer, has become a hot topic among the masses. Beijing has entered the electric car era with seven new types of vehicles entering the automobile market. Currently, there are 3,700 electric cars in Beijing. It's hoped they will reduce energy and environmental problems, and the government has adopted policies and measures to promote them. Diandong Beijing is a project intended to promote electric car use. Zhang Jingjing is the founder of the electric car project. Diandong Beijing, this project, before, I've always been doing electric car research and research. So, in 2012, we formed a research center for electric cars. 一一一群人，大家都在做新能源方面的一些产业研究和报道。Dandong Beijing plans to rent out electric cars. It's the first such initiative in the city. Dandong Beijing aims to let people experience electric cars by trying them out and getting used to them, and so increasing the chance people will choose electric cars in the future. 我们其实是在提倡一种分时共享的租赁模式。分时共享呢，也就是说，你可能用它只是解决一些室内的。With the development of electric car infrastructure in Beijing, short-distance transportation is feasible, but still faces many hurdles. We now have more than 100,000 users using our car, but the number of users every day is not very high. Because at the moment, our fleet is not very mobile. Also, there is a large population of users who are familiar with electric cars and their use and habits. So we cannot satisfy everyone with the usage of all kinds of different needs. But some customers have some valid concerns that they would like to But some customers still have some valid concerns that would like addressed. The problem with the battery is not solved. 啊，因为充电桩太少，肯定不适合长途，就在市里开吧。这个车型比较少，如果要是有 B 级车可以选择的话，那我觉得还是会更好的。So how can the government solve the problems preventing the use of more electric cars? 它是要解决一些现实性的问题，比如说传统汽车呢没法解决的能源问题。电动汽车作为一个零排放的产品呢，自然会对我们的生活、我们所呼吸的空气质量产生一些好的方面的影响。At present, charge stations can be found in five places in the north of Beijing and two places in the south of Beijing, but it's still rare for people to use them. This year, there'll be large-scale building of charging stations in Beijing. The aim is for 1,000 fast charging stations by the end of 2014. 这个目标只要实现了的话呢，其实我们可以看到，我们现在就等于把新能源汽车的这种消费群体给打开了。那么，随着基础设施的完备，随着大家对新能源汽车由陌生变成熟悉，这个市场的打开是迟早的事情。In 2013, 17,500 new energy cars were produced, and 14,500 were sold. With the support of the government and the joint efforts of enterprises, it's hoped that the use of new energy vehicles will grow. What kind of activity can attract young girls, handsome guys, soldiers, pipe smokers and brussels? The second annual Beijing Tweed Run brought all these people and more together. Guest judges included the Chinese Vivian Weston, Hong Kong, veteran bike collector Zhang Xiangdong, and the editor-in-chief of Lifestyle, Net. The idea has since spread to dozens of cities, but in Beijing, the bikes have been ditched and a runway is now the main focus. An eclectic group of collectors, baristas, architects, fashion icons, and students took to the runway. This life is more than just a read-through. A tweed tie with brooch, elegant glasses, typical Scottish long stockings, all belong to late 19th or early 20th century London street style. It's a 
上是一个马服装，自行车在日语里面会写成铁马吧，牛气的车，所以它也是马的一种，就还蛮好玩的。Radiating placid, graceful beauty, these girls look as though they came straight from a Shanghai street in the 1930s. The bold colored long dresses with antique jewelry made them elegant and beautiful. Long jackets, dyed cloth, and silk dresses are reminiscent of Ming Guo style. Disregarding common fashion, the bohemian outfits from the 1960s mixed and matched different colors, as well as cowboy boots and leather jackets. 这个是Alice Moulton 他那个工厂他对中国的市场的看重我们做一个非常棒的车车车车车车车车车车车车车车车车车车车车车车车车车车车车车车车车车车车车车车车车车车车车车车车车车车车车车车车车车车车车车车车车车车车车车车车车车车
In the square parts and accessory hall, cycling suits like Nike ID provide a custom tailored experience to Chinese cyclists. Ginger是比较主流的一个服务 China Cycle showcases advanced foreign technologies and brand management and also delivers an important message to the Chinese bicycle industry to focus on the developing bicycle culture and lifestyle as the new market trend. Fed up with organized coach tours to see the sites of one of the world's great capitals? Don't want to pay taxi fares? It's certainly tough to walk the long streets of this metropolis. Well, how about hopping onto one of China's most popular forms of transport to explore Beijing, an electric bike or e-bike? Nathan C, founder of Beijing Electric Bike Tours, has built his tours around e-bikes and the routes he has designed provide a new perspective on popular Beijing destinations, allowing people to explore areas not often visited by tourists. And after I moved here for about a year or so, one of my friends came to visit. My friend was also, he was a big rider, so he ended up taking it around. He went around the corner, maybe five minutes had passed, ten minutes had passed. Um, so I was getting kind of worried, like, I don't know what happened to him. Maybe he got lost, maybe something happened. He came back and he said, the first thing he walked through the door was, wow, that was amazing. And I was like, what was amazing? And he's like, oh, well, I got lost in some back alleys or something like that around my neighborhood. So at that, at that point in time, he, he just blurted out accidentally, you should do this as a, as a tour business. To find out more on how wonderful this experience is, we followed Nathan and his guide to explore the route in detail. Generally, riders meet at Suchi Ko subway station and prepare for departure. Then the guide will take them to Xian Yu Ko Street through some small traditional Beijing hutongs. Well, this street is called Xian Yu Ko. This means a fresh fish market because in the past there was a river here and uh, on the river there was a right. Usually fishermen saw the, their fish uh, in front of the bride. Later the market uh, formed and uh, uh, then uh, this street was given the name uh, Fresh uh, Fish Market. After passing along this traditional street, they go to Dashilan to explore Beijing's history. How much is this? Yeah. Uh, Popeye. His website has attracted many visitors. Since it launched in 2009, it's helped many overseas tourists who prefer electric bikes because they're faster and more flexible than other forms of transport. They're also a good way to avoid Beijing's daily traffic jams. Wow, it's such a great feeling. I've been here before just, uh, you know, taking walk, but it's around five kilometers, so it's a pretty, a pretty big area. Totally different feeling. You go around areas, you stop a little bit, and the guide explains to you the routes and the history behind this uh, area. And going through this, uh, you know, hutongs, the traditional Chinese buildings, is a, uh, you know, great experience. 天坛、颐和园、长城这几个地方，啊，这就像几个点，你就空降到那个点，然后你不知道你怎么来的，你不知道呃呃他们之间的联系，甚至呃，但是我们这个电动车呢，就是把所有的地方串联起来，你知道每
Renting a house can be difficult to organize, but the trickiest part is moving in. There's always so much luggage and finding a big enough car and a driver you trust is really important. Uh, my friends introduced a driver to me, 100 RMB. This is my old apartment. The rent was $240 a month. <laughs> There was no kitchen, no personal washroom, and no roommates. Now I'm moving from the 32nd floor to the second floor of a new building. And I'm no longer on my own. I think your car is big enough. If you have a Chinese brand, you could let them have you. Both the apartments are close to public transport, subway line 6 and the bus stop. The old apartment was closer to the office, but the new one is really close to the supermarket. This is a Chinese wedding mark. Name is Tai Hong Jian Xi. Happy to move. The house is big enough for a party with all our friends. Now you have a kitchen, you will cook. Uh, cook? Yes. You good at Chinese cook? No. No. Don't show, show. You must show what show. For Chinese habits, they like to invite so many friends to have a party in the new house because they have something mini lucky. Which lucky? Yes, but but he cannot speak English and uh, oh. Chinese. He's a cooker. This washroom is really big. I like to use it to shower. Oh, <laughs> oh my God! You must be more careful for your new house. Now we have a kitchen. We can cook every day, and there's a washroom big enough for two. Kui Ba, a Chinese animated film released this summer, has become a hot topic among the masses. The film is said to be the epitome of Chinese animation. Not only was it produced collaboratively with the top Japanese Seiyu for the first time, it was also selected as the 2013 Toronto Animation Festival's first Chinese feature film. Its premiere date in North America is scheduled on July 27th. The production team has attracted curiosity and people are wondering who is coming up with the idea of the Kuiba world. The only time I have seen the film was throughout production. I remember when we finished our last voice recording, the recording director asked me whether everything had been completed. I answered yes and never once watched the film again. This is because what I see in the film is all about the painstaking efforts of every member. The process is like an emotional roller coaster that takes me through many experiences. That's why I can't bear watching it again. Wang Chuan is the director of Kui Ba, as well as the founder of Vasun Animation. Due to his perseverance, Kui Ba was able to succeed after it first started nine years ago. The film was also the beginning of Vasun Animation's career in high-end animation. We started making this animation with a specific quality. For example, we would only ask for a perfected drawing of the human body or of its volume. The word perfect has become the cause of numerous headaches in my company. Kui Ba was regarded by many as a big risk for Vasun animation. But actually it's a decision that Wang Chuan made in order to survive. 
By 2002, Vasoon Animation had become a company that achieved 10 years of animation experience with a team of 200 people. Yet it was exactly that time when the entrance of flash technology had threatened animation profitability. Because flash technology occupied the low-end market and the middle had no place for us, we could only aim for the higher end of the market. That is why we decided to create an animated film fit to international standards. Of course, this decision entailed a lot of hard work, including repetitive research, but conclusively we had wanted to make a fine piece of art. Unfortunately, Wang Chuan's idea was unable to attract those on his team. In 2004, a team of originally 200 members had fallen to only seven. Well, there isn't much for those 190 workers to say, except that I was maybe crazy. They definitely didn't want to be a part of it, so they just left. The loss of so many employees was perhaps a reflection of their lack of confidence in creating an original high-end animation production. Wang Chuan explained that it was because they were competing against counterparts in the U.S. and Japan, whom were armed to the teeth with knowledge of modern technology. However, the entrance of a group of young and talented employees brought a new spice of passion to Wang Chuan's request. The new employees are mostly born after the 1980s. They are vigorously youthful. The difference between their generation and mine is that they are aware of how the world works and nothing is too new or challenging for them. Their belief is what others can do, we can do as well. The young team quickly became the driving force behind Kui Ba. Years of cooperation, Wang Chuan was deeply impressed by their dedication. He admitted that his biggest fear during production was finding errors, because that would imply a few more weeks or months for his team to start from scratch. What these new employees possessed was not only the raw passion, but also their willingness to sacrifice for the quality of each scene. This time, our project required a large amount of 3D technology. When you work with 3D for too long, you'll feel as if someone is pinching your eyes. I personally can't watch for over 10 minutes. Zhang Gong, our production director, is responsible for reviewing each 3D screenshot for at least 100 times. Every time I leave the office, I can see two streams of tears falling from his eyes. Every time I come back, he still sits there, and the tears still continue to fall. Wang Chuan says the whole production process of Kui Ba was heartrending. There are too many details that he can't bear recalling. However, despite the effort of an energetically fervent team, the film suffered an incredulous defeat in the box office upon release. Many commented on the internet that the film felt like a copycat of Japanese animation and that the story was poorly structured. The film's failure had less to do with our story than it had to do with our ability to tell the story well. We were not technically savvy enough to deal with some details, so the audience may feel overloaded by the way some information was presented. Wang Chuan decided to create an original high-end animated film suited to international standards. This means that the making of Kui Ba involves serious storyboarding and countless discussions on its style and quality. But the fact is, there is always a gap between one ideal and the actual results. 
If you want to animate an action like two people fighting, an animator has to draw for a week just to finish a two-second long scene. So if I say, I think it would look better if you changed the angle by five degrees, that would be catastrophic because it would require another week of work. So in the interest of productivity, I usually just let it go, but that directly affected the quality. Every day I need to evaluate these situations, otherwise the film might not be completed on time. Kui Ba decided on a type of realistic drawing style which requires very highly skilled animators. But at the time, Vasun Animation just gathered a group of new animators. Most of them were quite young and not very professional. So we decided to start with the basics and hold training classes. We believe this was the right thing to do, so we stuck to it at any price, even if it was at first not successful. The price for Kui Ba, however, was not the $5 million investment or the full-hearted devotion of each member. The price was the fact that it only got $500,000 in box office receipts. Reviewers commented that Kui Ba was actually paying for the poor reputation of homegrown cartoons. I have a friend who worked in the publishing industry for years. He told me that his son never watches Chinese cartoons. You can't simply force him to change with a gun against his head. He said many people in China are like his son. They refuse to watch homegrown animations. We have no choice but to slowly try and change their opinions by producing quality work. But this is a long battle. As my friend says, you can't force them with a gun. For Vasun Animation, the way to rebuild the public's faith is simple and clear, by producing higher quality work. But this can't be done without the correct technical approach. In the early days of Vasun animation, Wang Chuan started exploring an industrial flow sheet for animation production. He broke down the process into modules and provided quantitative standards for each module, therefore creating a repetitive mode which could be implemented. There have indeed been some very brilliant homegrown animated films in the last century. The problem is that every work is made using different methods. The result is that we were never able to find our most eloquent production language. After 20 years of refining their standardized industrial flow sheet, Basun Animation has been able to create animation works that are 95% technically stable and 5% artistically beautiful. Kui Ba has greatly benefited from the flow sheet, which has also ensured the steady production of the Kui Ba sequels. Kui Ba the cost of the second episode was much lower than the first one, but with much greater visual effects. We applied 3D model techniques to improve upon the original paintings, and this gave me the courage to try some more difficult scenes for the second round, such as three people fighting. Before we needed at least a month to finish drawing one shot, but with the 3D technique we could quickly model the movement on the computer first, and then it became much easier for key animators to perfect the scene. Kui Ba is more like an experimental work. As Wang Chuan says, it has no reference coordinates in the domestic animation field, nor does it have any data that can help predict the fate of its future three episodes. Though initially it wasn't very well received, Wang Chuan still believes that he and his team are on the right track. And the right thing is always worth dedicating your efforts.